did a lot of traveling for the holidays. I went to Green Bay, Chicago, and Indianapolis to see family, and I was so glad I got to see them. I had not been able to travel for the holidays in about seven years, so it's been a long time since I got to see my family for the holidays, and I was so stoked and so happy to see them. I got to see my mom, and I got to record a video with her, so sometime this year you will be seeing that video and you'll get to see my mom on the Thought Street channel again. I also got to see my family on my dad's side and it was nice. It was really nice. We had us a pizza party and it has been so long since I had some Chicago deep dish pizza. I forgot how good that stuff is. Shout out to Shot Town, okay? And when I got to see my stepdad in Indianapolis, that was also nice. I haven't seen my stepdad since before I had my son, I believe. And I, my son is about to be four years old. So it's been a while. I spent my New Year's at work. Yeah, I got one of those type of jobs. There is one other special thing about the New Year's. It is Thoughts Free's anniversary or birthday or whatever you want to call it. We turn one on New Year's. It's been one full year with me on YouTube. Can you believe that? It's been one wonderful year and I am so, so very happy. I cannot tell you how proud I am of myself that I was able to do this and stick this through, through all the frustrations and all the times that I was scared and all the times that I was worried about if I would be liked or not. I took a look at my very first video that I made and it's, it's a little rough. I want to say that I have Thoughts Free coming up for my new year. Thoughts Free in Instagram, Thoughts Free One on Twitter, and there will be a Facebook coming soon. Um, also, a website coming soon. And some videos. Thoughts Free is basically me freeing my thoughts. Obviously, really, the baton. When Thoughts Free popped up as an idea in my head, it was an idea to basically get my poetry and my music out to not hide everything in a notebook where no one would ever discover it or see it and it has turned into so much more and is going to be turning into more even after that thoughts free seems to be on the cusp of turning into something that i never even thought it could be i can't wait to tell you what i have coming in 2015 but first i do have to let you know what i learned about being a youtuber in 2014. So let me get started on telling you what I learned in my first year as a YouTuber. You don't need expensive equipment to have a YouTube channel. A lot of YouTubers will tell you this and a lot of guys that you will read will tell you the same thing. One thing I can say is though, the more expensive or better quality the equipment that you're using, the better quality of your video. So expensive equipment helps, just a little bit. So you can still do what I did, you can start with whatever you have. I used a tablet and sat by a window. Now I have my Canon 70D and I have my lights that I can use. But even though I have my lights, I would much rather use the natural light that I get from the windows in front of me. The only reason why I'm using my lights now is because it's, it's kind of gloomy outside. And the sun is not waving at me today. It's also good to have good editing software that works for you, whether you're a beginner or you're advanced at it. I currently use Sony Vegas and I would like to start using Final Cut Pro once I'm able to have a iMac computer. Dibs on that iMac computer in 2015 y'all! Remember that even though you may not have the expensive equipment or the best quality equipment, good content helps no matter what equipment you have. When you have good content, people get interested and they want to see more. 
building your subscribers. Whew, that is some work. My goal by New Year's was to meet 500 subscribers for my channel. I, not, I didn't need it, I didn't. However, when I made that goal, I was at 100 subscribers. I had just made my 100 subscriber video. I may not have made it to 500 subscribers, but I certainly did more than double my subscribers. So that's a positive way of looking at things. I will say that getting people to subscribe to you is very hard. But at the same time, it's best to not pay so much attention to it and just do what you love. Just continue doing what you do, whether people watch it or not. Some good tips to building subscribers though is do collabs. Now it's very hard to find somebody to collab with you when you're new because you're new. A lot of people will look at the number of subscribers that you have or they'll look at your video or what your channel basically stands for and that will determine if someone really wants to collab with you or not. But once you do find somebody that wants to collab with you, it's a great thing. It's awesome. And it makes you feel good because you feel like you have a friend after that. And speaking of collabs and friends, I have to, have to thank Glamazzini for shouting me out and letting people know about me. If I had to pick out one person that has helped my channel so far, so much, it is her. So thank you, Glamazzini, for supporting me. And thank you for letting your subscribers know that I was over here off in a newbie corner trying to do something. Trying to be somebody. Trying to follow my dreams, girl. Another thing you do is do a response video. That was another thing that I did that surprisingly got more subscribers. And that's how Glamazzini found out about me in the first place. I did a response video to somebody else's video. Well, it was a hot topic. And people just kind of found me through the search because they were searching for all the response videos. Now, I wasn't expecting to get any subscribers off of that. I just felt strongly about the topic, but it did help. Another thing that is crucial is you want to use your social networks to promote your channel. Your social networks help a lot because usually, who do you have on your social network? You have your friends, you have your family, you have people that should not have a problem with watching you in the video because they're supposed to be your friends and your family. Hopefully those people can watch your video, like it, and pass it on to somebody else that they think would be interested in your channel on their own social network and that helps to spread the word. Another thing I learned, vlogs suck unless you are popular. I may be wrong about this, but my vlogs, each and every single one of them, always do the worst when it comes to how many views they have versus my other videos. But you know what, I do them anyway because I find them fun. Sometimes I want to let people know what's going on with me without sitting in front of the camera just talking about it. Sometimes there are some parts of my life I actually just want you to see. So those of you that are interested in those vlogs, I do thank you for watching them. Although right now it seems like the interest is not exactly there. I'm going to still keep doing them though. Plan your videos. Now this is something new that I'm trying out. Now I will let you know just about almost each and every video except for maybe a couple I literally just set the camera in front of me and just went just right off the dome I didn't plan anything nothing was scripted I might have thought about the topic a little bit but that's about it I have learned that there are some things you just need to plan out whether it's the scripting, whether it's how you're going to sit, whether it's what you're going to wear, or even what music you plan on putting on your video, it helps. It helps to write down your ideas. It helps to plan out how you're going to do your editing. It helps to plan out what things you want to film. That way you don't really miss out on anything. So a big goal of mine in 2015 is from now on, try to plan my videos out more often. Create a routine, an upload schedule, and a filming schedule. Now I don't exactly have a to the day upload schedule. I just know that I try to stay at minimum once a week. My filming days are usually while my son is with his grandmother, which is Friday through Sunday. Those times that I don't have to worry about a toddler running around trying to stick his big old head in the camera lens, those are the times that I choose to film. Those are the times that I choose to edit. The video you don't expect to be popular, 
will be popular. I can't tell you how many times I have sat and thought about a topic and thought, this is going to be it. This is going to be something that everybody's going to like. I'm going to get a lot of views on this one. And then I didn't. This is the one that's going to get a lot of comments. People are going to be talking about this one for a while. And it was crickets all up and through that comment box. But there was one video I made just for fun because Glamazzini, again, Glamazzini made a song on her channel and I just, as a joke, decided to make something with her video. And she said, why don't you put it on your channel? To this day, that video has the most views. I cannot believe it because that wasn't even a planned video. The description box is your friend, honey. Put everything in there. When I say everything, I mean everything. Everything. Put the description of your video. Put your P.O. box. Put your phone number. Put your social security. No, don't put your social security number in there. We got crazy folks. Put everything that you need to put in that description box. Don't miss a beat. A lot of things that people ask YouTubers nowadays, you can just put that in the description box. Frequently ask questions. Put it in your description box. If people always ask you, hey, what type of camera you use? Put it in the description box. People say, what type of music is that? Lord, Jesus, put it in the description box. That description box is your friend. Treat it like a bestie. Tell it all your secrets. Be realistic. I got some comments from a few of y'all asking when I was going to do more poetry videos. Because so far in the whole year, I only got to do two. I'm going to tell y'all, it's because I had a high expectation, a high standard of what I wanted those poetry videos to be. And those videos take a lot of people to do. In order to do the amount of poetry videos that I want to do, I have to be a little realistic and kind of lower those standards a little bit. When you're working with multiple people, you're working with multiple schedules. And that can be very, very hard to keep up with and very, very hard to make time for everybody to be there on the same day to make your video. So if you plan on doing something big that involves other people, please, people, please be realistic with your time and be realistic with what it is that you're trying to do. I will admit, finding music that you are able or allowed to use on YouTube is hard, but a lot of the music that I have found has been music from SoundCloud. If you take a look at a lot of my videos, you'll see that I have a certain favorite. Surprisingly, there are a lot of people on SoundCloud that don't mind you using their music as long as you just put the link in the description box. There goes that bestie again. Another thing I learned is to keep my personal social media separate from my thoughts read social media. If there's ever a time that any of you have ever tried to friend me on my personal Facebook page, which would be under Jasmine, if I declined you, the reason is because it is my personal Facebook page. I only friend friends and family on that page. I will not friend anybody else. I do have a Thoughts Free Facebook page. I do have a Thoughts Free Twitter, Flickr, SoundCloud, Instagram. I have Thoughts Free everywhere pretty much. I just don't want to have everybody always in my business like that. So I usually just like to keep some things for us, for myself. And that's what my personal Facebook is for. Be yourself. Listen, if you're not yourself, people are going to be able to tell. People are going to be able to tell if you're being fake. People are going to be able to tell if you're just doing it to get something out of it. This is something that people can really just seem to get your aura. People can sense your aura through the camera. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Just be yourself. Be authentic, be real, and just love what you do. Allow room for change. There are some things that I came up with at the beginning of starting Thoughts Freed and there were banners I made, there were fonts I had, colors I wanted to stick to, pictures I had done, and I still love them all. But now that I'm getting to the point where I want to grow a little bit more, in 2015 some of those things are changing some of those things are being upgraded if you will 
So if you have a niche, if you have a banner, if you have a name, if you have certain color scheme, have room to change those if need be. I always had a tagline or a slogan that said, my poetry, my music, my thoughts. And that has changed to, this is me. Because Thoughts Freed is just me, whatever it is, whether it's my poetry or my music or my thoughts, is more than that. It's, it's just me, all of me, whatever I care to do, it is me. So those are the things that I have learned in my first year of being a YouTuber. And I gotta say, I wonder what I'm gonna learn in the second year. If you're thinking about starting your own YouTube channel, just do it. See what comes out of it, but have a little bit of planning. Don't just go in there all willy-nilly because you're just going to fall on your face. Have a little bit of planning, have a whole lot of heart, and be passionate about what you want to do because people can tell when you're fake. As far as Thoughts Free for 2015, there are a lot of changes and a lot of updates I got coming for you, and I can't wait until you see it. We have Beauty Beginnings coming in 2015 where I will start learning different things about beauty, about beauty products, beauty tips, beauty whatever, I will be trying to learn about it. And I will be taking you along for the ride. Another thing to piggyback off of beauty beginnings will be healthy beginnings. I think part of the beauty of a person is also being healthy. So I'm also going to be learning step by step how to be healthier and just kind of delve into it, try things, learn things, and bring you along for the ride. I also plan to do some hauls, some favorites, some lookbooks. They will all be seasonal, and the winter lookbook, the winter haul, and the winter favorites will be coming to you real soon. Poetry is still going to be here on Thoughts Free for all you poetry heads. I have not given up on that. Although the videos will be a little more simpler, I will still be doing those and I'm going to try to do at least one poem a month. Do not hesitate to check me out on all the social networks. I'm either under Thoughts Freed or Thoughts Freed 1. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Flickr, SoundCloud. You can, you can find me on those. There's a list of them in the description box. Don't click them. Oh, you want me to get done with the video? Okay. But when I'm done with this video, you're gonna, you're gonna click them, right? Two last things that is new to Thoughts Free. My website is done. And I will be blogging on that once a week. So go ahead to thoughtsfree.com, check it out. And while you're checking it out, don't forget to subscribe to my new newsletter. Bet you didn't see that coming. I will now have a monthly newsletter that will be going out to my extra special subscribers. And because they will be so extra special, you will get in each newsletter a exclusive video that will not be put on YouTube. It will be only for my subscribers to that newsletter. The newsletter is where you'll also find out what's going on with me and what to expect from Thoughts Freed every month. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to share. I am super, super excited about Thoughts Read and where it could possibly go. I do have some special thank yous that I wanna say to a few people. I wanna say a big thank you to Glamazini again. I appreciate all your advice. I appreciate you believing in me, and I appreciate you reaching out to me and giving me a little bit of a hand with so much last year. I want to thank Mac Tuck for producing and creating the songs and the music for my poetry videos. I really appreciate your hard work there. I hope to work with you again in the future and I'm super excited about where you could go musically in the future. I want to thank Donna for letting me use her house for the Can't Stop video. It is a beautiful house and it was so fun romping around your house in my underwear. You want to talk about awkward? Donna is a co-worker of mine and I had my booty cheeks out in her house. I want to thank 
one of my best friends, Angelica, she has been the one taking pictures of me. She has been the one filming me when I can't be the one to hold the camera. I have to give a, a, a very big special thank you to her because whenever I have a time where I'm possibly not believing in myself enough, she always lifts me up and is like, girl, would you quit it? You can do this. She always does that. And she's always so helpful and she's always there for me. And I really appreciate your friendship, girl. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your hard work with everything you've done for me for Thoughts Read. And thank you for just being a friend, girl. I have to thank my fiance, Ike, because whenever I don't believe in myself, he believes in me for me. Anytime I decide that I want to do something, I talk to him about it. And he is always the one to just be like, just do it. Just do it. You never know till you try. There are a lot of men walking around here not supportive of their women. I'm so thankful I have one that is so very supportive of me. Even when I can't be supportive of myself. So I have to thank my baby. I have to thank the love of my life. I have to thank my future husband. I for holding me down and helping me with a little filming every now and then. And last but not least, I have to thank you. I've had so many times where I wasn't sure if I should keep going. And a lot of times you helped me through that with your comments, with your love, with you subscribing, and with some of you reaching me through Facebook, through Twitter. I just, I, I couldn't thank you enough. I really thank you for subscribing to me. I hope to spread the word and get even bigger next year. And I just cannot wait for you to see what I have in store for you next year. And if you're wondering if I have any New Year's resolutions, you might want to go to ThoughtsFree.com and check on that. I'm not going to tell you what my New Year's resolutions are. You're just going to have to go to ThoughtsFree.com and look it up yourself. In the end, I just want to be heard. I just want to get my talents out there. And I I just want y'all to just listen. Just listen. Happy New Year. Peace and blessings, y'all.